Hey, what's up everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I had my little walks that I was gonna take. If the park did the content, I encourage everybody to go check out that content that I'd made uh, over this last hour or so. It's been a lot of good stuff that I felt came directly from the maker, uh, the creator upstairs. It really, really, I think it's meant to put good energy in you and inspire you. I really believe that. I don't often feel that way about everything I make, but those last two, I, I think they'll be good. I really do. But, uh, yeah, man. Just uh, walking home now. Feeling the blessing of this wonderful weather that I've been enjoying. Uh, it's been great, man. I'm telling you, it's got to be about 77 degrees with a good breeze. I don't think I've felt weather like this in a long time. Very long time. Not quite with this type of breeze coupled with this type of temperature. This is just my favorite weather in the world right now. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. You know, I'm just uh, just living my life to the best of my ability. Like I told you guys, the enemy's trying to attack me in the ways that he knows how, and I'm just not buying. Some days you just you feel it and you go through it, and you you go through the circumstances that the Lord wants you to overcome, and you do that. You overcome them, and this is that. I'm gonna enjoy my day, and that's it. <laughs> that's literally it, man. I'm gonna enjoy this day. I'm going to enjoy tomorrow too, man. I don't need the same things that I needed. I'm not controlled by the same energies that I was controlled by, the same fears. I'm speaking about things that are more than myself, and I'm proud of that. And I'm not, I'm not going to be down on myself because the enemy's doing what the enemy does, which is attack me. You know, I'm just not. It's, he's been attacking me so much, trying to frustrate me so much as of late. Through all the different things that I've gone through to now, it's just like, man, what can you do that you haven't already shown me? You know, I'm a full believer that my exodus from the world ain't gonna have nothing to do with Satan. If the God wants me gone, I'm gone. <laughs> it don't matter from which how that takes place. So if you ain't gonna take me out, I already know figured you out. That's how I feel about the enemy. If you ain't gonna take me out, I already figured you out. So that's what it is. And I just want people to understand that positivity and gratefulness and a belief that God is going to give you what you need is all you really need. A belief that God is going to give you what you need is the most that you would other need, otherwise need confirmed in your life. If anything this has ever taught me is that. Otherwise, it's just about working on doing things that don't show you that you are ungrateful. Engaging in selfishness and sin and weakness. And, and indifference to others, indifference to others' pains, so different type of things. That is what God doesn't like. That's what the enemy can work with. He can definitely attack you and, and create bridges from which to cross toward you with us thinking that way. He don't want to think that way. You want to let the Lord in and let him stay in your life so that when you go through what you go through, you can feel that gratefulness for what he is, which is always willing, always willing. That gives you something, bring you some type of comfort, bring you some type of blessing, bring you some type of relief to your pain. You just got to believe in something greater than yourself and let that belief carry you forward into gratefulness for the tr appreciation for that belief and the truth to that belief. It ain't just you hoping something good will happen so you manifest fake appreciation. And that appreciation is real because you know God is real. You know he's going to come through. You've seen him do it already. And that's what being obedient, staying connected to him in prayer, and then letting that prayer throughout the discipline of trying to work it into your equation, eventually having it in your life every day, all day, every day, that's what it do for you. Then you're like, all right, look at the enemy work fine. He's working his way. And watch what God gonna do next. That's what my faith is up to. Watch the Lord teach me how not to allow the enemy to work in the ways he used to work. Enemy was attacking me two, three weeks ago a certain way. Can't get me the same way. Why? Because for the last three weeks, I've been applying God and he's been working in my favor. She's proven to me that my applied faith is working. My faith is stronger than my doubt. And now I'm finding new ways where I've applied doubt instead of faith. And I'm seeing him work those out in regards to teaching me how not to do that anymore. I don't have to do any of that. All of my prayers work. Everything that he's proven is coming. It's already happened. It's one or the other. Literally one or the other. 
Let the enemy tell me all. Look at how this is going. It ain't the end of the movie. We already worked that discipline to understand this ain't the end. Still on time on the clock. Look at how that's working out. It ain't, is it? It ain't time yet. God didn't have it so that it was working on this day in this moment. God made it so that that was going on in this moment. And he wanted me to apply faith against you. And here I am applying faith against the enemy as he tells me that. It ain't over. So that's what I'm here to tell y'all. That's the, that's the energy of the day. It's Sunday. I'm looking at my energy right for my family's uh, Bible study. We missed it last week. My uncle wasn't feeling well. Praise God, he's feeling better. This week, we ready. You know what I mean? I got a Laker game to prep for. I'm going to get to that as soon as I get in the house and be able to put all this stuff down. I'll start prepping for the Laker game. They play the Kings tonight. I'm going to enjoy the game, whether we win or not. You know, and, and the stuff that I otherwise needed. Oh, why they ain't hit me up? Oh, why they ain't respond? Because it wasn't meant for them to. Because God was trying to work something else out in their life. Because the enemy was trying to force you by way of what it is that they do into the same old stuff. But he's not creative and God is. So he's created a new way for me to handle that same old stuff. I love myself more. I ain't letting you get to me. <laughs> if that's what your intentions are into me. You can't do that. People are going to do whatever people do, man. People are going to do what they do. I've worked away from the Lord for a long time. He had to punish me more than once to get me to take him seriously. Let me just be honest with you. And I've said this in the camera more than once. I've engaged in evil energy. I've done things I had no business doing. And was warned and didn't do it. He went back around and did what he said he was going to do when he warned me. That's how serious this is. That's how serious what I'm telling you is. God warned me, I said, nah. And then he did what he said he was gonna do. And it was bad as hell. Bad, bad. And you know what I did? I ain't do it again for a while. Hear that part. Even though he punished me to the highest order, I spent some years without making that mistake again and then came back around and made it again eventually. Played with God. He didn't warn me again not in the same way. He didn't say, this is what's going to happen if you don't stop. He said, you need to stop. In a voice just like that. I documented it when it happened, too. He's like, you, you need to stop. There's a video back there somewhere about a year and a half ago when that was the case, two years ago, something like that. He's like, you need to stop. And I stopped for a time. You can see, this was me trying to work into the equation of respect for God. But there was not quite the faith and the respect level that was needed. Yeah, he punished me, so I was afraid to not do it again. But I didn't respect him enough to, like, never do it again. It wasn't the trust along with the fear of him doing certain things. Sometimes it ain't enough to believe God will punish you so that by way of fear, you ain't going to do it again. You need to have a combination of that and seeing him work so many dang times to where you don't want to disappoint him. You don't want to piss him off, not because he's warning you, but because of look how he got you through that, 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 and that. A lot of people, and I'm learning this in my life right now, a lot of people don't have those combination of things. They think they love God, and they, they may do, but they don't fear him with a combination of trusting him, with a combination of seeing him work so many times in their favor when they applied faith, to where that combination just makes it so that, yo, not only do I not want to play with God, but I don't want to disappoint the God because he really has come through. Like, that's what I see in someone that I care a great deal about. She just don't have that type of respect for God at all. She loves him, but not like, not like she's going to when he starts doing the things that he's going to do as the course of her life unfolds. If she stays close enough and cares enough to, to even see that. A lot of times people feel pain and they start letting their demons work. That's what I was on. I feel pain. Now it's time for me to lash out. I ain't protecting you. That's what the enemy wants you to do so that you can weaponize yourself against believers who are believing in you. But you don't have that combination of love, fear, and this. So you're going to have to go and bump your head a couple times. You're going to have to miss out on some good things. And then you're going to have to see him work out when you do miss out on those things. Have him work in your life so that you can learn to love, trust, respect, and not want to hurt him. Before you actually learn how to appreciate the good that he brings into your life. And that's what I sense is going on there. And so for me, it's like, look, 
I'm somewhere else. I've been where you're at, and I'm telling you, I know what happens next. The problem is, is dealing with it on this side of it. You know what I mean? For me, it's like, yo, I kind of, I'm in a space where, even though the Lord is working so many things out in my life, I kind of don't want to work around someone else not respecting God while lashing out at me because of it. Because I'm kicking the devils behind and the devil is now using they demons to kick on me. That's what this is. This is what it always going to be in situations like this. The Lord is going to use you in the way that he wants to use you and the enemy is going to use those who don't respect the Lord as a weapon against you if you love them. That's how it works. So you got to get people around you and love God enough to not be weapons against you for the enemy to use. Weapons against you for the enemy to use. You got to be able to get people around you that are already in that space where they have that combination of respecting God, loving God, fearing God, and not wanting to disappoint them. You got to find people in your life, if you're of that nature, who are courageous enough to work in the way that he wants them to work. So that you're not constantly getting hit by their demons. So that their demons are not going to try to coerce you into reverting back to your old demons. I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I feel like I'm dealing with. People want to play with God because they hurt. People want to want to disrespect God because they don't like how they how things went in their life. That's fine. I've, I tell you I've been there. But I'm past that now. He didn't kick me around, pick me up when I fell down, all kinds of different stuff to where I'm like, yo, God, send me somebody that's on my level so that I'm not getting kicked around by the enemy for somebody who's on like 30 levels behind where I'm at with my faith. I'm on a mission right now. Now that I have all of these different combinations of things, I ain't never turning back to my old ways. And maybe I put them, in, brought them to my life when I was messing around with stuff I had no business messing around with. When I didn't have those combinations back then. I look back when I met the person I'm talking about, it's like, man, that stuff I was doing, if that's what attracted her to me, she ain't never gonna like the person I've become now because I ain't nowhere near that. This type of stuff I was doing, man, I barely respected God back then. I was playing with God every day in different ways. I was toying around with my own energy and had no respect for myself in some ways. Yeah, I had a good attitude and I thought I believed in God. I ain't trust him like I trust him now. I needed to go through all that happened for me to get to that point, man. I, it's levels, that's the point. Sometimes you just gotta find people that are on your level to use as your friends. To, or rather to have as your friends, not use, but have in your life as friends and, and confidants and spouses. You can't assume that just because you believe they're going to reach a level that you're at or even a higher level than you have a possibility of reaching, that you got time to waste letting them be weapons of hate against you because you're doing your part. We got to burn them bridges that the enemy uses to cross over to reach us. I keep saying that. And where I'm at right now, I got a friend that is being is, is a bridge. Since he can't catch me with sin, he can't catch me with temptation, he can't catch me with nothing else. So he uses other people's demons through their pain and their shortcomings to try to hurt me because he knows I care about them. They got to go. They got to go. Because it's like any other bridge, they can't be there. You see what I'm saying? You gotta get certain people out of your life, man. <laughs> man, I almost hit that girl. She wasn't paying no attention, neither was he. It's crazy. But you gotta, you got to use the face that you have to allow the Lord to let people leave your life they need to go. And he'll bring them back around when they're on a higher level and you can't let your old demons that wouldn't have the faith to let them go before certain things you've now been through. Keep them in your life when the only thing they really dare to do is lift you up to tear you down or set you up to be let down. No, you gotta get them demons out of your life. Let them learn by way of losing you what it means to appreciate God for which you were not, but 
that the Lord brought you into their life to be God of, of him and they ain't respecting that. You got to let you got to go. You got to let them go and let them learn that lesson just like you learned yours. And that's where we're at. That's exactly where we're at. And I'm telling you, it ain't as hard as it would have been because of the faith that I've applied to myself in regards to what I've been through, to my God, in regards to what he's helped me get through, to my respect for myself, for which is don't allow me to be disrespected the way I would have been respected, disrespected if I didn't trust in God the way that I'm learning to now. You can't treat me the way you, you know, that I would have allowed you to because I didn't been through too much to learn to respect myself. So it's like, yo, that's what BDL 44 is going through. She got to reach her own. She got to get to her level, man. She got to get to the level of my own. We can't we can't do this with us being at different spiritual levels. Her toying with God, me trusting God and then the enemy using her. The only thing he got left to use to hurt me. Nah, man. Because my next level of faith is to get you gone so that you can't do that no more. To get you out of my life so that you can, you know, what I mean, so that you can't do it. But what are you going to use now? If that ain't there to hurt me, what are you going to use now? See what I'm saying? That's what it really comes down to. So that is what it is. I ask that everybody pray for people who are going through what I'm going through. Because we all find ourselves in lives where we outgrow people. Whether it be in a spiritual sense or a mental sense or something like that. We all get to a point where we realize that people ain't really in our life for the betterment of our circumstances. The betterment of who we're trying to become. That they're going to be a deterrent to who we're going to be if they keep on doing what things that they do. We all reach that point where we outgrow friends. And sometimes people only meant to be in your life before a certain time. A season. Maybe they're meant to be in your life to motivate you to this point. And then after that, it ain't really much they can do for you. And you can't do much for them. I think it's where I'm at. I believe that that's maybe where the Lord has brought us to. So I want you to pray for people like me. I tell, so I tell y'all, you pray for people like me. Or you pray for people, everybody rather. Then it's going to reach me. That's the, that's the way I'm trying to say it. If you pray... For everybody to reach me. And Lord knows I'm not the only person who needs prayer in this world right now. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I think that's kind of what got me here. It's caring about others. Literally caring about others. Put me in a position to where this was all possible. So it's like if I'm doing God's work and the enemy was able to hurt me by way of me doing the right thing, then I know it ain't meant for me to feel no pain off that. That's kind of what it is. Like, So you trying to tell me. Me doing things that God made, that was pleased with, God was pleased with me for doing these things. And now I'm supposed to feel pain for that? I did everything the Lord wanted me to do in meditation. And now I'm getting the wrath? Oh, hell no, nah, you gotta go. You're a demon, you gotta get out of here. That's where we at with that. And since I've seen the type of behavior that I'm talking about more than once now, I've gone through the rigmarole of trying to, oh my God, oh my God. Now it's like, nah, fam, nah. I'm on the right side of this one. I didn't meditate, I didn't pray, I didn't learn to trust God, I didn't seen that applied faith work so many different ways, and the only thing left for me to do, I didn't purge all types of different stuff out of my life in terms of sin, learn to apply faith in ways that I didn't even know I wasn't applying all this different stuff, and the last, the very last thing that I see that I need to work out is you. Bye. Video 44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.